back on our 360 build. I had a guy remind me in an earlier video, one of my tips, tricks to uh, include in this is to chase your threads in the block. This is a little bit late in the game to be doing this. Should have been done already. That's my fault. And I'm just going to be careful about it now. So obviously, chase the threads before I pull that over here. And see all that. And watch this. All that funk coming out of there. I've done a couple of these already, but wanted to just show you real quick what it looked like. Here in a minute, I'll take my shop back and just come back by and suck these out. I'm not going to just blow it all over and let that stuff fall into the motor. Well, yeah, there's only 10 bolts on a small block Mopar head, so that makes it a little easier. I know these threads, in my mind, they were pretty clean, but turns out they could use a little bit of cleanup, so. Try to be careful when I get to the bottom. There we go. But yeah, today will be the day. Throw the heads on the motor. Finally. I got my new timing chain on. I'll show you that towards the end. But look at that funk. Came out of there. I'll be back with you in a second after I get these cleaned out. I got our holes vacuumed out. Got this surface wiped off, cleaned off for brake clean. Uh, I want to show you something real quick. So I got three different lengths of head bolts here. One, two, and three. And I'll just kind of show you. Notice this is the rocker shaft hole that oils. It takes that great big long bolt. You'll see it's sticking up about an inch. Then you got the second shortest bolt, middle of the road, sticks up about an inch. And then our short, our stubbies go down here like that. Notice these two have two different heads. This was two different, uh, basically two new kits of bolts that I bought. That that's what I ended up picking up. And if I'm gonna put this together today, I'm gonna use them. But they're new. Uh, I don't have any worry about them. But they'll be the five top and then the five short go on the bottom side. So let me throw here. I'm just using. Yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, these are just the Fell Pro head gaskets that came in the kit 8553 PT. And they'll only go on one way. Notice that's hitting my dowel pin, so I have to flip it over. Now it's dowel pin there. Quick tip for you. I went ahead and test fitted the head on the block. Be sure it seats perfectly all the way around. There's no big random gap. It's not hanging up for some reason. Right, I go all the way around it, look. And this head looks good. This is the one I did in my porting series. This is actually a 318 head. There's that casting number 284-3675. That's what I had. So I, I gave them a pretty extensive opening up. I know the windows don't look gigantic, but I took out all the casting flash, raised the roof quite a bit. Um, did a lot of bowl work to them when the valves were out. And these are the 360 valves from uh, 360 heads that were cracked. So 
I'll go ahead and pull this off real quick and we'll keep going here. Hopefully you can see me. Shop's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. there. Set it on the table. Alright, so I know my surface is clean. And I'll grab my gas. There we go. Remember these only go one way. So the dial pins line up. That's it, that's it. You don't need to use any sealant on these. And I'll get my head bolts ready. Go ahead and set my head back on. Maybe see the, that bottom surface of the head clean as a whistle. They took 15 thousandths off that, cleaned it up nicely. And here we go. If this was a race motor, I would probably buy nicer gaskets. It's just going to be a little street hot rod, nothing special to it. You know, very, very mild 360, I would call it. Uh, for our head bolts, here I've just got a small cup of oil. Just oil in the tips of them. And get them started. I'll show you here real quick. Uh, we're talking to 95 foot bounds total for a 340 or 360. So, looked like a 318 was a little less on that deal. And I'm bringing out the big guns. The old snap on special here. I think start about 40, that's fine. And we torque in sequence. Let's run up to. 75 and then 95. Let's do 80 and then 95. Go to 95 and be happy.
All right, one head is on. I wanted to mark for you real quick to show. I know what it looks goofy switching out sockets like that all the time, whatever. But ideally, I would start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, if you wanted to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it doesn't matter. As long as you start in the middle, go out. Totally fine, but I'm really glad that head's on. That makes me feel better. Uh, I'm gonna get her flipped over and do the other head. All right, not a bad day. Uh, I know to talk to y'all about my new timing chain. Finally got it in. And I've had some several uh, comments um, about people wanting me to you know, I'll stick the front cover on before the oil pan. And I 100% agree with that. You are correct in every form and fashion. Uh, the reason I put mine on, I wanted to get this motor sealed up. And, you know, I only, I only get to work on this certain days when I'm not working on something else or babysitting or whatever. Um, so, yes, I'll, I'll put that as a tip real quick. Put your front cover on first and your life will be much easier but I was waiting on my new timing chain to come in. This is a Howard's Cams uh, 1219. I guess that's a part number. Uh, I got this from Summit. It was about $107, something like that. But one reason I picked that, uh, if you, you know, I, I looked at several other chains uh, from Summit, and this one, this one only had a couple reviews and they were good. Let me pull out my handy dandy screwdriver here. This is actually a true roller. I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you or not. Maybe through here. Hopefully. Get in there. Yeah, I can roll it with my fingertip. So that'll give me a, give me a little power. Um, less friction, but man, it's so much tighter and nicer. That's that's how a chain should be. You know, I. It, it's just loose enough that I could get it on to the motor. Um, I probably wouldn't want it any tighter than that. That seems very nice. Uh, it has all the adjustments for different advances, retards. Mine's just on zero. And I remarked that gear again. Uh, I may try to advance it one day or something. I know these heads are kind of restrictive. Uh, you can notice here I got my... Uh, I got them marked after... This is after I ported them, so... No, I didn't bring them all the way out. Cut, cut, cut all that stuff out. I'm just trying to keep up the, the velocity a little bit. And I'm using the wind intake here. That's what they said. They recommend these gaskets. That's what I got for it. And I just kind of had switched intakes in the middle of the middle of the build. And it's a dual plane, which is nice. That's probably actually what I need. Um, and it's what my cam recommends. Hold on one second, let me get you set down. Been wanting to do this for a while. Come on down. Pop that gasket out there. Finally, starting to look like a motor, at least. Uh, but that's, I'm trying to get down where you said, that's a pretty high rise intake. Um, especially for a dual plane, I think they say zero to 6,500 or something. Or, you know, idle to 6,500 RPM. So I'll get it bolted on soon, uh, probably next time I see you. And uh, my valve cover's thrown on. I guess I can just set them for today. Huh. That's better. Obviously. Alternator wire will run there and there. That's not bad. Let me get back so you can see it. That looks like a motor I was sticking in something instead of a old power unit. So stay tuned for my next build video and I appreciate y'all watching. Guys, I just wanted to add one, one thing real quick. 
Um, my build videos have really taken off just the, the tips and tricks deal. Uh, I'm over 1,600 views uh, on the first video. And a lot of that's um, from you all, just being able to share that. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like these videos, comment, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to change something, you know, if you liked some of the other formats better, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm up for anything. I want to get this thing built. I will carry it to a racetrack somewhere and uh, see what it does in my dart sport. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to build a, put all this time and effort into a motor and not see what, you know, kind of what it'll do. Um, so I'll bring my cameras out for that. Uh, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna bring out the, my Challenger with the Hemi in it, um, Gen 3 Hemi. I'm gonna bring it out to the track also one day. I just, I wanna know, you know, um, put that much effort into something. Kinda, kinda wanna see the rewards, but. Uh, I, again, I appreciate y'all watching and Hopefully, not the next video, but the video after that of the builds, I'll have this strapped on my uh, run stand and do a first startup sequence, kind of go through all that with you. So, thank y'all for watching. Uh, give it a like, give it a share. I'm on Facebook, Just Mopar Joe. i got a page there you can check out. Uh, but thank y'all.